Oftentimes people ask me, Sandy, how did you get into Ayurveda? Well, the first time I heard about it, it was in 2013. But if I'm quite honest, I didn't think much of it for two reasons. One, I was in my 30s, I was healthy, or at least I thought I was, so there wasn't any reason for me to change anything. And two, I only believed in the healthcare system that I was exposed to since I was a little girl. However, that was about to change because soon thereafter, I was diagnosed with mild, mild Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disease. But the doctors at the time said, it's not a big deal, let's keep an eye on it. But it wasn't until six years later, on 2019, that my body started to tell me that something needed to change, I just didn't know what. So I decided to start with my nutrition, turning a discovery process into a process of elimination. So I first eliminated meats and poultry. Don't ask me why, I just did it. However, I was still dealing with massive migraines and IBS. So I decided to do a food sensitivity test and ding, 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 ding. To my surprise, I find out that I had food intolerance to milk, dairy products, meaning cheese, cream, yogurt, also almonds, cinnamon, black tea, and eggs. Honestly, I was in shock. Why was it in shock? Well, because these were mainly the foods that I grew up eating my whole life meats, dairy, dairy products, and eggs. No wonder why my body wasn't talking at me, but screaming at me. That is when I turned into pescatarian, then vegetarian, and then vegan. Although things were improving slowly, I was still working massive hours, 12 to 14 hours a day, sleeping maybe four hours a night. I wasn't eating well, and I had stopped my exercise routine. So my nutrition had changed, but my lifestyle had not. So that is when the universe started sending me very clear messages. The migrants and the IBS became intolerable. I was having panic attacks. I had lost over 20 pounds without even trying. I was losing a crazy amount of hair without paying attention to the Hashimoto's. And for the first time, I was having clear signs of depression. So by April of 2021, the universe said to me, enough, you cannot keep treating your body this way. So I ended up visiting the emergency room three times in the span of two weeks in the middle of the pandemic. Nothing fun about that. Adrenal fatigue, AKA burned out, was the final diagnosis. So for someone who you may think had it all, I was actually about to lose it all. So it took a lot of vulnerability openness, sincerity, and honesty with my own self to get out of it. That is where Ayurveda, plant medicine, and integrative health played a big role in my life. I first went to Peru to have my very first San Pedro Ayahuasca and Campbell healing experience. Then I went to Costa Rica, where I had another plant medicine experience. And then I went to India, where I had an Ayurvedic Panchakarma treatment. But all three learning experiences taught me the importance of looking at health holistically, mind, body, and spirit, that healing is an inside job in a lifetime journey, not a trend, and that preventive care is the most underrated and undervalued healthcare system, yet the most important that we should be focusing on. So that is where my passion for Ayurveda began. Opening my mind to study the science of life, Ayurveda, is helping me understand that the deterioration of our health does not happen overnight. We do not develop chronic diseases or autoimmune diseases overnight. It ultimately is a combination of our genes, our environment, our nutrition, the toxins that we consume that ended up triggering certain cells within our body. So not looking at our mind-body system holistically is preventing us from seeing the full picture. And that is exactly where Ayurveda plays a huge role. Our body is the smartest system there is. We just need to convince our minds about the importance of finding balance between our mind, body, spirit, and our environment so we can live a happier, healthier, and more vibrant life. To me, Ayurveda just feels intuitively right. It feels like coming back home.